This is the plaintiff, Tamala. She says the defendant's her niece, and she posted terrible lies on social media about her, stealing from her mother and having an affair with a married man. Bottom line, the defendant can't be allowed to drag her name through the mud. So family or no family, she's suing for the $6,500 she's owed for defamation. This is the defendant, Tamika. She says she and the plaintiff's daughter got into a verbal altercation on Facebook, which had nothing to do with the plaintiff. The woman is evil. She didn't bother to come to her uncle's funeral, and she certainly didn't defame her. She's accused of talking trash about her aunt. The defendant has bought a counter suit for $5,823.47 for furniture her aunt won't return and for pain and suffering. All parties, please raise your right hand. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Tamala, you are suing your niece, Ms. Tamika, for $6,500 that you say she owes you for pain and suffering and defamation. And you have counterclaimed against her $5,800 for furniture that you say she got rid of and for pain and suffering. All right, let's start with you, Ms. Tamala. What, what's going on here? Um, she is trying to hold me accountable for some furniture that she left with my mother back in 2012 when she left the state of Michigan. Okay, so nine years ago, she left furniture with your grandmother. No, with I'm my sorry, mother. with your mother, which is her grandmother. Exactly. She is your niece. And then you yes. moved into that place after the furniture was already there? Yes, ma'am. All right, and so by the time she asked for the furniture, where had the furniture gone? The furniture was still down in the basement that last that I know. When I left Michigan, it was, it was still down in the basement. I never touched anything. Okay, did anybody she put the furniture out because it was moldy? Not to my knowledge. I'm not, I don't know. When I left there, things were still down in the basement. She I seems to be anything. under the impression that your son either sold it to make a profit or your daughter who texted her and said it was all moldy and it was put out. So which of those versions I are true? I have no idea which who uh, her and my daughter talk. That was on them. Okay. But so I, now you have a lawsuit against her because according to you, she took to the internet and started blasting you. Tell me what she said about you. Uh, various things saying that I stole stuff. I should have came to been a woman that came to her and told her that she said that my son supposedly had sold the stuff or whatever. She took to social media to try to bash my name because she was upset. She thinks that I'm responsible for something that she left with my mother. Okay, so you're suing for $6,500, so you're gonna have to be specific. What did she say about you? That I stole, I stole her furniture. I uh, had my son that stole her furniture. I never told her. Then she said that I, I messed around with married men and I stole from my mother that I'm a liar. I told her that, uh, I told her some things. She, which, what, I should have looked at the videos more in depth, but I got upset with the videos because I couldn't believe that she would do me that away. Okay, so now there's videos and what she actually posts on Facebook are actual videos, correct? Yes, I sent it in as evidence. All right, that. what did you do, Miss Tamika? I went live on Facebook. I'm posted on my own. Page. On your own. So then all of the relatives and all of the friends and anybody who's a friend of yours on Facebook then sees your rant, right? Right. Um, what happened? Okay. Um, my grandmother passed away. When my grandmother passed away, she was power attorney and had and was over the state for my grandmother. Who Meaning was everything your that aunt? Was the the plaintiff was power of attorney. Right. Okay, go on. Now, um, I left in 2012. I moved around a little bit from Florida, South Carolina, and then to Georgia. Um, I wasn't stable, so I didn't want to bring the furniture, and I wasn't stable. Continuously judged, I spoke to my aunt about this furniture. We had various conversations about this furniture. At no time did she tell me that it was a problem with the furniture being there, that I had to come and get this furniture. When she got ready to move to Reno, Nevada, I spoke with her in depth and we talked and I asked her, I said, well, I'm going to make preparations 
for my brother and possibly my uncle to come over there and move everything before she went to Reno. What year was she that? She tells me this was like three years ago, right before she moved to Reno. So she tells me I don't have to worry about the furniture being down in the basement because her son, little Rodney, is going to be there. She was like, you, this is that or you, this, little Rodney's there. She told me when I asked her, her exact words was Rodney going to be in the house. It's fine. This was her exact words. So then word. when do you find so, out it's not fine? Okay. So I finally moved into my own house um, in November. So I was like, okay, I'm settled. So I'm now it's nine Georgia years Carmen. after you've been storing the thing in this house. Right. So then I called her and I talked to her. Um, I had somebody came to me. Somebody in our family came to me and told me that her son so my bedroom said one of my bedroom sets to one of our to my cousin to another one of my cousins. I called my aunt. I asked her, did um Lil Rodney sell my furniture? Because I was making plans with my brother and trying to get my sister father to go get the stuff and bring it down here. That's when they was like, You don't even got nothing over there no more. They told they was like, Ain't nothing over there. They was like, You need to find out if you got stuff over there. I guess I'm curious, not too many people leave furniture for nine years. And according to you, all of the stuff is brand new. You had just gotten it and you put it there. And then nine years later, you still haven't taken it. So I imagine that their version of things is different than yours and that their version of things is you abandoned it. So persuade me why nine years is a reasonable amount of time to have it stored there. This is a house that I grew up in. I, I had my son in this house. I had numerous, even though she's the nine and me and my aunt have talked in several times on the Bible, me and my aunt has talking several times about this furniture. She knew all my struggles that I had been going through over the past few years. I didn't have nowhere to stay. I was unstable. Now I finally have my own home and I'm stable. And I wanted to get my stuff and bring it here because this is where I'm going to permanently be in Georgia. We've been talking about this furniture years over the course, over the whole nine years. What's your version of this, Miss Tamala, that you two have never spoken of the furniture? Every time she would ask me about the furniture, I would tell her it was down there. From last I known, it was down there. Every time she would ask me, I would tell her the same thing. Last that I know, it was down there. I mean, it's not what her job to, to know do? about your furniture, but so what happens? Because Thank what brings us into court is your lawsuit against her for defamation of character because she posted a series of rather colorful um, rants on her Facebook page. Exactly. Now, what causes you to go live on your Facebook so, page and do so all this? So after I talk, okay, here you go. When my auntie, when I asked her about the furniture, she said she was going to call her son. She would call me back and let me know. She did not call me back. I called her. Out her mouth, verbatim, word for word, was, I'm just tired of everybody. You know what? I'll pay for everything. I'll pay for your stuff. Her daughter sends me a text basically saying that even though her mom agreed to pay for it, she's not paying for anything. If I'm going to be mad at anybody, I should be mad at her because it was some furniture from 1996 that was molded that she threw in the garbage. That's what the daughter said. Okay. So and let's, I take snippets to me. Let's see some of the posts if we can. Let me tell you something, you little yellow raggedy You could never embarrass me. First of all, use a flying Yo, your mama, I talk to her every day, correct. And every day, your mama stand on the phone. You're talking to Tiffany, her daughter, at this point, right? Right. My furniture, sat there on the phone like one going on. What's it do? What's it that have to do with me? None of that that you talking about, Tiffany. You understand me? But you want to talk about hard up? Let me tell you what's hard up. Hard up. It's the little yellow raggedy brother of yours that got to sell somebody else's furniture for what you want to talk about I'm hard up? He stole that You know he ain't throw it away. He got money off my and far as my being some basement furniture, I got pictures of everything I'm on. I pay cash money for my Okay, okay. Um, well, that doesn't exactly portray you in the best light, now does it? Now, you uh, you were on this rant no. at Tiffany. Well, it didn't have to do with me. Well, that's the point. She's saying she wasn't talking about you. That's the point. So I have to hear these and see who she's accusing of what so I can see whether she defamed you. 
Um, so that's where I'm going with this. So let's see. But just like I said, the response I get, let me know at all. Cause like they got, like they said in the Bible, the truth shall be revealed. And they have definitely revealed itself to me. You feel what I'm saying? You in the middle of some shooting of the going on, little girl. You feel what I'm saying? What is it but you're doing while your head keeps turning? What is it you're doing? Are you frying something while you're screaming? Yeah, I was, I was cooking. <laughs> can I can I share something with you? I listened to these tapes, right? Preparing for this case. I dreamed about you. You are like totally losing your mind. Every third word is a curse word. But what I am hearing is you accusing Tiffany of a bunch of stuff uh, and you cursing at her and accusing Rodney of selling your stuff and then getting mad at Tiffany and saying and getting mad at Tiffany for saying you're hard up because you're not. And then curse, 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 curse. But what possesses you to put yourself live on Facebook like this, this rant while you're cooking something? Because. Every time I look up, it was like something else that she was saying on Facebook or something else. So every time I would see something that she would put, it would just piss me off because I'm like, first off, this is like my mama on, on God. Like I be, and I'm going to be real honest. After I made them statements, I got the, the messages to prove it. After I made those statements, I apologized to my auntie and text. I've sent her pictures of my granddaughter. I apologize to her. It's, I have them right here in my phone, time, date, and stamp. Sure do. I apologize to you. You probably blocked me so you didn't see him, but I did. I felt bad about what I said. I felt bad about what I did, but it was just the hurt that was behind it. I trusted her more than I trusted my own mama. Do you understand me? Yeah, and but do you like, understand you that know you left, you left your furniture there with your grandmother? Your grandmother passed away. She is not in charge of monitoring your furniture. And nine years later, if you think Rodney sold it, why does that have anything to do with her? You see? So she may have, because I believe you when you say she me, said, I'll pay for it. I'm sick of everybody. It. But she doesn't have to do that. And when her daughter gets involved, her daughter says, my mother's not doing that. Your anger is at Tiffany, and you say all these things about Tiffany, but there are times, your aunt is right, there are times you say things about your aunt, aren't there, on these videos? And you're right, because here's my thing. She's trying to portray it like she never agreed to let me keep that furniture there. She let me, I asked, there has been at least three to four times I have asked this woman, do I have to move my stuff? And she has told me three to four Yeah, she doesn't care, no. she's fine. She doesn't deny that. She says, I don't care. She's not, no, you're fine. And then she moves, and then it's the last I saw, it's there. You know? Hold on a second. Your Honor, when Tiffany Wait, stop talking. Way, my auntie still living in that house. Let's talk about my grandma calling me, talking about Tam stealing her money out the bank. You want to go there? Let's go there, Tiff. Hey, show me the money. Show me the money. Let's go. You want to go there? Let's go there, Tiff. I asked your mama a simple question. All she had to do was say yes or no. But the fact that she involved you after she told me clearly that she would pay for my you feel what I'm saying? She ain't worried about you, your man. I'm in the army now. I don't what was that? I'm in the army now. What was that? Oh, because she in the Air Force. <laughs> From this forward, this day forward, you was dead, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Um, I have a couple of comments, Miss Tamika. Number one, I'm worried about you uh, because I think you have a very serious anger problem if you're letting nine-year-old furniture get to you in this way, uh, where you feel the need to post all this stuff on Facebook, 99% of it is against Tiffany and Rodney. Ms. Tamala, you don't have a right to sue for any insults she makes to someone else. So what she does have a right to sue for are the things that you say about her. I, th I think really the most important one is the one about your grandmother telling you that your aunt had stolen money from her. So that would really be the one thing that Ms. Tamala is able to sue you for. So a defense to that is, hey, that's truthful. That's what happened. So you tell me, what is it that your grandmother told you? My grandmother called me and told me that she checked her bank account and Tam had embezzled and took a lot of money out of her account. Did she say how much? She didn't tell me the specific dollar amount, but that was what I was told. So Lies. Now, Ms. Tamala, for you to be able to prove defamation, you have to prove that she lies when she says that your mother called her and said that. How are you going to prove that? I have that? a witness. 
You have a witness about what? She, Wait, hold on, hold on. To Ms. Tamika, you have a witness about what? That every that she's a liar, that she that she this is what she does, that it's a lot of allegations who about is your her stealing witness? people's money. Wait, wait, who is your um, witness? my mother. My mother. Oh my gosh. Is your mother her sister? Yes. Yes, who never came to my mother's funeral when she died because she was mad with my mother, been mad with my mother for years. Yeah. Ta called my okay. mother all types of Okay, Wish okay, my mother stop, Miss Tamala. Wish me let me hear from your mother. Miss Tamala, stop. Ms. Tamika, let me hear from your mother. Everybody stop talking. Everybody stop talking. Everybody stop talking. Ma'am, what's your name? Savannah. Can you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right. Will you um, explain to me, did Ms. Tamika ever tell you about a statement by your mother that Ms. Tamala was embezzling money? I was there. I was the one there. I'm the one that called my mother and told my mother to check her bank account. My sister had just took money out of her account. It was $1,200. My sister took it and I called my mother. Jesus, that's my witness. I don't have to lie on anybody. I can come. She okay. Me. Okay. Thank she you. After that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, Ms. Tamala, on your lawsuit against Ms. Tamika, the strength of your lawsuit depends on whether you can disprove, right, whether you can say she lied when she said my mother called her and said that. How You cannot she prove lied. that she lied. You, can, you might lie. feel very strongly that it is a lie and that you never did it, but that's not the issue. The issue isn't, is it a lie? The issue is, did she lie when she said she was told that? Yes. And you cannot prove to me that she lied when she said she was told that when you also have your sister saying she was there when it happened. So on the defamation suit, zero. On the counterclaim against Ms. Tamala for pain and suffering and furniture, Ms. Tamika, I, I don't know what words I can describe to you. This is probably the absolute worst case of abandonment I've ever seen in my life. But aside from that, it's not even, she's not even the person in charge of it. You leave it with your grandmother and then later on she moves in and then later on she moves out. So the leaving is with one person, the grandmother, and the purported selling of it or getting rid of it is with another person, the son. She has zero to do with any of that. Miss Tamala is not in charge of your furniture that you left somewhere for nine years. It is not her problem. It is your problem. So on your counterclaim against her, also zero. Good luck, ladies. I'm going to lose everything I own again because of her. Well, in this incredible case and this amazing argument, uh, the plaintiff has lost her case of defamation against the defendant. Uh, Tamala, let me just ask you how, how you react to what just happened here in the People's Court today. What are you thinking? I'm used to Miss Thomas and her mother lying and going off on rants like that, so it doesn't matter. So do you think there'll be any ramifications as a result of this court case uh, between the two of you? Or what do you think? No, they're going to just keep on talking all the mess, going on Facebook and telling lies to whomever they could possibly tell it to, which I don't care because they have to stand before God for their lives, not me. All right. All right. That'll wrap it up for this amazing case. Harvey. <laughs> so, Doug, uh, nine years. Well, that qualifies as abandonment, but it doesn't have to be nine years. Uh, you could have a situation three months. The fact is that abandonment, abandoned property, it varies from state to state. When it becomes abandoned, what you should do is check online for your state if you're in a situation like this. Have you ever felt so bad for a litigant's situation in life that you felt compelled to talk with them after the case in order to try and get them the help that they need? That's happened several times to me. It's happened both- On the bench or on the people's court bench? Both. Both. Oh, okay. Where I've felt the need afterwards to, um, you know, to come outside and talk to them or to bring them into my chambers and talk right. to them and try to get them help, whether it was help with housing uh, after an eviction, right. um, help with, you know, psychological services 
or just a pep talk? We did that sort of thing occasionally when I was on the bench uh, in the circuit court in Miami-Dade County. My bailiff and my judicial assistant, they, they're big hearted people, they always were. So they would, they would sometimes do it without me even knowing. They would try to get people in the right direction, get them the right forms, get them whatever it took and tell them, look, this is how you, how you do this, this is what There's you There's so much red tape involved in so it really much is. of this. It's hard to navigate the courts it's hard to as a navigate pro se litigant. The courts, it's hard to yeah. navigate you know, uh, government services, it's just right. hard. Yes, and, and the, the other thing we would do when I was in the dependency division, some of the kids who were in foster care uh, around Christmas time, I would just buy gift cards and, you know, I wouldn't tell anybody, but I'd right. call them to the bench, I'd just hand it to them and say, you know, not a lot. Like I remember that. They could go get something uh, for Christmas, you know? Yeah, that was actually really sweet.